There, oh boy, that's a big Whoa. fish. Big fish. Welcome to Fishing with Ladd with Ladd and Langman and co-host Steve Ronholt. You can buy that expensive tackle that you think that you might need. You can head out for the river and hope you might succeed. But if you want to fish just right, just turn your TV on. Come on, fish with Latin, he'll get your fishing on. Yeah, come on, fish with Latin, and you'll have some fun. Can't some fly in Alaska on the wild Yukon, or catch some trout and salmon in good old Washington. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. Okay, um, what I'm doing here is Larry here has been catching, uh, hooking a lot of fish. So I'm starting upstream. And I'm, I'm slowly working my way down toward Larry, trying to weasel some of his fish. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do right now, folks. I'm talking quiet enough where Larry can't hear me, but notice the stealthiness of the sneak. Very important. I'm going fishing in the morning, gotta catch the early line. I'm going fishing for a feeling I get when the fish bite. Oh, I gotta say my prayers, roll down the covers, kiss my wife goodnight. I'm going fishing in the morning, gotta catch the early line. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here in the Blackfeet Indian Reservation, and we're here with uh, Cut Bank Creek Outfitters, and we're here with uh, Guide David. How you doing, David? Good, good. And Packy. How you doing, Packy? Great, how are you? Not too bad. Hey. Uh, we've heard great things about this lake. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it, David? Uh, this one is all cutthroats in here right now. Okay. It's the only one that really has cutthroats in it, but they're nice fish, like two to five pounds. All right. And they're real healthy and fight hard, so. Well, do you think we'll catch any? Oh, we might get one or two. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go give them a shot. Okay. Should we hit it. out? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Got him. There it is. Oh my gosh, it's a good fish, too. Whoa. Yeah, it's a good one. This guy's got a lot of spunk. <sighs> oh yeah, beauty, 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 eh? Wow. David displayed the beautiful kite before sending it on its way. I hate it when this happens. Ah! 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 Shoot. Uh, don't move, Steve. Dang it, how bad is it? I don't know. Yikes. Whacked my face. Uh, no, you're good. Sorry about that. Okay, oh boy, it was close. Oh. <laughs> Hit my face. It Hit whacked your face. Me sorry, good, I'm going to move up. Uh, I'm sorry about that. It's okay. When you're fishing in severe wind, Always go over this shoulder so you'll hook your partner in the face and not yourself. <laughs> okay? Yikes. <laughs> oh, got him. <laughs> nice. nice yeah, it's pretty good. Awesome fight. What a fish. gorgeous fish. Yeah. Good fighters, too. Nice. nice. Thank you. Wow. Wow, these things. The colors on them are amazing. Hey, this is Aladdin war wound right here. <laughs> wow. Look at that. It's a football. That is incredible. Beautiful colors. 
Okay, this is some leeches. They tie the marabou-tailed ones with uh, leech dubbing. We use these when we strip because the tail smooths out like this. And then the rubber-tailed one, you use an indicator because it moves up and down and it jiggles in the water like that. And that tracks them a little better. So We're using a that leech. rubber-tailed leech, yeah. yeah. That's what they're eating. We got a prince on top, but they're eating the leech every okay. time. So. Great, so not uh -huh. too far out there. No, right? they're right in close right now. They actually, they're coming in this dirty water. Okay, great. Probably they can hide in there more, so. Yeah, Let's okay. put it out and we'll see what, what happens. Okay, sounds good. There's another one rolled right there. They're in here good right now. Go out past them and let it bring it back through them. Okay. This one was, I one just. There it is. Oh, yeah. Good Man. fish. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 wow! The fish was putting up an incredible battle. Gosh, it's coming at the camera. I see a fish right there. Yeah, there's wow. a bunch of them in here right now. Gosh, it's beautiful. Steve is gradually bringing the fish closer. Okay. Yeah, they're gorgeous fish. Oh, we popped out. We Quick popped release. <laughs> All right. Double. Laden's got one on, too. Man. Yeah, these fish have just been rolling in here. We're seeing them. They're all over the place. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Gorgeous. That's a nice one. Yeah. Made a good run. Aren't they all beautiful? It's a big fish. It's a nice one. <coughs> Almost. Almost. Damn, yeah. Oh my nice. gosh. That's a fat fish. That is cutthroat gold. Man, they are gorgeous. We took turns releasing the large cutthroat. Big fat cut. Wow. Fish after fish. Huge, big fat cuts. These are probably the best trout fishing we've caught. I can't even talk, it's so good. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's crazy. Best time of year? Best time is May, late May and June. Okay. The fish are in big schools like this. And then uh, later in the summer it can be good too, but they're not concentrated in schools. So you still catch a lot of fish. You catch a lot of fish, yeah, fish. It's just, yeah. Right now they're in big schools, so you can just stay in one place and catch a lot of them in one area. So. All right. There it is. Oh, yeah, yep. that's a nice one. Yep, it's a nice one. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, look at that. Here, I'll get the net. <laughs> what a nice, beautiful fish. I mean, they're just stacked like cordwood in here. It's incredible. And they're just beautiful, nice, big cuts. Look at the colors on that guy. Thank you, Steve. You're welcome. Yeah. Awesome. What nice fish. So colorful. Wow. Absolutely incredible. And there she goes. <laughs> and what a beautiful fish that was. Black awesome. Indian Reservation. Yeah, awesome. black feet, Indian Reservation nonstop. At least two or three times today, fish have actually come and hit my legs. And one particular fish went right through my legs and hit both knees. They're just stacked in there like cordwood. And this is grizzly bear habitat, and there's been a couple of maulings in this area where we're at here. And as you can see, this is the kind of stuff that the grizzly bears love. And they get in here and they tear up the trees and things like that. And um, th this time of year, they're out looking for nothing but nothing to eat, and that's the only thing they have on their mind. So we should stick together, huh? Stick to this yeah. right there is what you gotta stick to. Stick to your guns. That's right. Yeah. All right. 
<laughs> there. Nice. There, there, there. <laughs> and everywhere. This is like a barrel. Huh? This is the most incredible cutthroat fishing. Ah. Big cuts. Whoa. Gosh. Yeah, it's a nice fish. It is. Boy, I tell you what, folks, this is just crazy. Look at that. That's wow. Awesome. Are these gorgeous? Oh, yeah. What a beautiful fish. Oh, man, that's a good fish. <laughs> Here, let me hold that. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Look at that. Look at those beautiful beautiful fish. That is so amazing. There he goes. Another one. Okay. Can you let me get to back to the camera? <laughs> I'll try, <laughs> try to. <laughs> I'll try to. I just can't help but catch fish. If you fish the Blackfeet Reservation, stay at the Stone House at Duck Lake. You'll enjoy beautiful views and all the comforts of home and you are only a stone's throw away from world-class fishing. Our friend Larry was also catching fish. All right. <laughs> Come on, oh, where are you going, buddy? <laughs> right in the net. Oh my goodness. There it is. Oh. Man, they are just big and fat. Well, there he goes. Nice. <laughs> Good job. Oh, man. Yeah, really nice. Awesome. Can't, can't get better than that. Cutbank Creek Outfitters also guided us into Mission Lake, where we caught huge rainbow trout. Whoa. Good heavens. Hold this. Hold this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really proud. I've hooked a lot of people today. There's one. Oh boy. That's a big fish. Holy cow, that's a big fish. Steve stripped the large cut toward him. These are awesome. Yeah, it's a nice fish. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a hog. The fish continued to fight, but Steve worked it closer. David, he's close here. Okay. Goodness. Nice. Woo! That's a nice fat fish. All right, awesome. Man, look at that thing. That's a gorgeous fish. Yeah. That's a fat oh, that's hog. That's a gorgeous fish. Mm. Man, that's got to be three pounds. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, man, I tell you, these fish are amazing. Beautiful, yeah. hard fighting, fat fish. Incredible. Yeah, awesome. The fishing has been great here at Goose Lake, but just the, the surroundings, too. The scenery is phenomenal. There's mountains. Uh, just about everywhere you go, and it's phenomenal. There we go. Oh, man. Lively guy. Yeah. So cool. Big fish. Steve is bringing the cutthroat nearer to David who's waiting with the net. Boy, beautiful trout. I mean, good 18 inches probably. Mm -hmm. Just fat. Wow. There she goes. There we go. It's just one after another. There's two more fish on. Look at these guys, <laughs> both got them on now too. Unbelievable. Man, they are lively. 
<laughs> wow, that's a weighty fish. Nice Wearing me out. <laughs> yeah. Look at those fight fish. These are about as hard of fighters as I've yep. seen. All right, here we go. All right. Larry looked on as David carefully released his fish back into Goose Lake. This is just where black bears climbed up here. You can see the claw marks all the way up. Uh-huh. And then you can see up there, they're just the claws. You can't see the scratch marks, but when they come down, they scratch a little further like that. Wow, and that's a black bear? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And they go all the way up just, I think it's probably just young ones just practicing climbing. I see. Okay, I'll just uh, show you how we rigged up here. We got like a prince nymph on top. And a rubber tail leech on the bottom here. They're about a foot apart. And we just put them down whatever depth we're fishing. Right now we're fishing about two feet of water is all. So we just got them real short. But the fish are in really close right now. So. Our cameraman, Clint Avery, had an opportunity to fish. And he hooked into this nice cutthroat. <laughs> yeah. Oh my, yeah. Uh... Clint was definitely enjoying the moment as the fish flashed beneath the surface. Then he brought it toward the net. Beauty. I wish I had the camera on that. Darn it. <laughs> Look at this splash. <laughs> Good thing you zipped up the mic. <laughs> Get a little wet there. <laughs> Yeah. This is fun. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Nice. I don't get to fish very often, but when the fishing's this good, Ladin and Steve, they let me have a, a rod, and this is fun. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this splash. I gotta zoom in on your face. <laughs> got, oh. got a splash on the, on the lens. Okay. A couple of them. Oh, nice. we got him. We got him. Clint hooked into another fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was great that our cameraman Clint got an opportunity to fish today. We caught so many fish that it was just like, got to get out there and give him, a, give him a shot at it. Yeah, this is about three fish in a row. Awesome. And about 10 minutes or less. When I was done bragging, Clint brought his fish in, and Packy made the scoop. Nice fish, look at yeah. that. Incredible. Look at these, it's just fat. Mm -hmm. Just fat. There he goes. Oh, okay, this is so much we'll fun. go get Ladin's fish. Good Ladin's, I got the net. Gosh, I'm telling you, these are just such beautifully colored fish. Wait till you see this one. Wow, look at, look at that, just fire red body, just beautiful. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I mean, just gorgeous fish, gorgeous. Oh, what a great day. Yep. Might be the best fishing we've ever had, I don't know. I've said that a lot, but this yeah. is fantastic, mm -hmm. fantastic. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the show. Fantastic day of cutthroat fishing. Special thanks to David and Packy. Please join us next week on Fishing with Ladin. The tip of the week is brought to you by Northwest Outfitters, located at the village at Riverstone in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho.
Dressing appropriately for being out in the woods is in the wilderness is pretty important. But I personally prefer pants most of the time. Um, these are really amazing pants. They're quick dry. Like I can go swimming in them and they'll be dry in 15 minutes. Um, but the reason, biggest reason I like them is just walking through the brush. Um, but it's just an extra protection, but it still keeps me cool because of the material. So really important to have, you know, good material, good clothes that will help you throughout the day. Stay cool, dry, or in the wintertime, of course, warm and, and snug. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Latin. Because we're having fun catching fish.